Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be installing LifeRay Developer Studios. As you can see, I'm on a Windows machine, so feel free to follow along if you are on Windows. If you're on a different operating system, feel free to look at the instructions and adjust accordingly uh, if you're following along here. One of the prerequisites is you need Java JDK 8. At least at the making of this video, the current IDE version only supports Java JDK 8. If you're running Java JDK 11, uh, make sure that you're pointing to Java JDK 8. A lot of what I had to do in the past is actually purge or get rid of JDK 11. Uh, so just keep that in mind if things aren't working the way you expect it. So I'm gonna head over to my terminal or PowerShell and just make sure things are pointed to my Java 8. Looks like that's good. Beforehand, I also created a folder called LifeRay. If you've been going through some of the other trainings, you might already have a LifeRay folder. Uh, you're gonna wanna make either another folder or empty out that LifeRay folder. It's very important that the folder called LifeRay is empty if you are indeed gonna use that folder. So with all of those prerequisites, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is double click on the installer for LifeRay Developer Studio. It does take a little bit of time, so if it doesn't respond right away, that's okay. Windows is telling me, hey, do I wanna allow the app to do its thing? I'll go ahead and click yes. Sometimes that notification doesn't show up. You might get an icon down at your start menu uh, that's flashing. So if it doesn't show up right away, keep your eyes down at the bottom of your start menu. Something might be showing up there. Uh, so we're going to be selecting JDK 8 here. And then just following the installer, uh, it's pretty simple. In this window here, we're going to be pointing to the C folder that I created previously. Again, you're going to want to make sure that folder is empty. Otherwise, the installer will complain uh, that it is not. So make sure you have that taken care of. We're going to install the command line tools as well. So I'll go ahead and leave the defaults here and click Next. Right, setup is all good. I'll go ahead and click Next. Now, along the way, you might have seen a window asking for some credentials. Those credentials are used in order to download LifeRay DXP, right? The enterprise or the DXP version of LifeRay. Those credentials are not saved anywhere specific. So rest assured, no one is going to be able to steal your password or your credentials, right? If you don't have those credentials right now, that's okay. You can skip through and we can uh, mitigate some of that later. But you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the account that's associated with your DXP account in order to kind of fully, fully utilize uh, this feature here. So now that that's all finished, very good. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'll go ahead and click finish, right? And then if you wanna test things out, feel free to launch LifeRay Developer Studio. I'll go ahead and show how to do that. We're gonna head over to our file system and just head over to the C fold or the LifeRay folder. That's where everything is going to be. So here in my C drive, I'll head over to my LifeRay folder and we're gonna go into LifeRay Developer Studio. Inside of LifeRay Developer Studio, we have the studio.exe. Uh, if you don't have your file extensions, just look for that little cube or that square icon. Double click it and it'll go ahead and start launching Developer Studio. We're gonna give it a few moments. We're gonna be waiting for a prompting or a new window asking for the directory of a workspace. Cool, now that the launcher has done its thing on my end, it took me a little bit of time. So if it did take a little bit of time for you as well, uh, no worries. So this is prompting me for the directory of the workspace. Now this is the workspace for the IDE, right? Your typical Java projects are going to be going into this workspace. So I'm gonna point this over to the LifeRay folder that we've created earlier. And I'm gonna create a new folder. I'll call it IDE-workspace. Right? Ultimately, you can kind of point this wherever you want. You can call this whatever you want. In the instructions, it is called Eclipse-workspace. Uh, but if you are working in IntelliJ, uh, I wanna be able to accommodate for that. So I'm gonna call it IDE-workspace. Just note the instructions will say Eclipse-workspace. We'll click launch and then that'll bring us to LifeRay Developer Studio. 
Now we're inside of Lifefair Developer Studio, and that brings us to the completion of the installation process of Lifefair Developer Studio.